Yeah, the thing is with, with this challenge, we're not really looking for the high level treasures, right? Because quite a few of the higher level treasures, all they give is renown, and we don't really care about renown. I'm not really sure what, uh, what would be the right approach here. I think at least you can fill the traps one. You can't fill the rogue one, that's for sure. Uh, let's go grab our treasure first, sure. Saxon Castle again. All right. Well, uh, we'll keep going. Hey, let's see if we actually get a treasure we want now. Ah, oh, there's a there's a skull again. Um, we'll go with the treasure hunt again. Why not? And counter time. Let me quickly turn on a light here. It's getting dark in here. There we go. Yeah, that's probably true. The, the thing that gets me most about the Necromancer encounter is how you absolutely need to have a rogue, and there's there's really no other option than having a rogue for that for that one. It's not like you can get away with uh, with one other skill uh, and a bit. I'm pretty sure it's stealing, but it could be sneaking. And it's not only uh, not only losing the. The renown there. It's also losing uh, losing the ability to to get the treasure or the combat in the first place. So that that one is, is really punishing. Kind of makes me not want to go and this without a rogue. And I could be wrong about the engineer too. And there's a, there's a lot of engineer checks in the area um, overall. But as long as you're still able to get the treasure, then then going without an engineer might be okay-ish. I could actually just check. I've got that in my notes, I think. Let's see, Caribbean, Memphis, Island, Andean. And then we've got Heroes Tomb. Where's that thing? Oh, uh, there we go. No, that's not it. Temple of Death. Okay, so yeah, it's a rogue stealing check indeed. And as far as I know, failing the engineer, that's a tinkerer by the way, does allow you to, con to continue. Uh, I want to be friendly here again, so let's start out with Yvonne. And then Bia cannot reach any of them. Oh, she can actually do this, alright. We'll do... Okay, we lost some speech power. There we go. I, I was kind of confused there. Oh, you really don't want to, uh, to excite those. Oh well. Shouldn't matter here. Okay. 
So yeah, I think I'll, uh, I'll just go for two expeditions here and then call it a day and then continue Monday, I guess. So let's hope I can actually pay some attention and not screw up here. I'm still going for the tactician, although I could consider if I'm getting a tactician perk here. Yeah, I would still highly recommend bringing an engineer to end this because there's a ton of uh, of engineer checks in the uh, in the bigger area too. But if uh, if all else fails, then you can uh, you can definitely do with just uh, just a range, for example. Uh, let's. Oh, um, yeah, that's not really really a choice. There we go. So these guys, oh, we, we want to be aggressive against them, that's fine. Uh, we'll start off this way. Alright. Let's hope we get a decent treasure here, at the very least. That would be really nice if we did. Okay, let's go with a... Actually, if we're going... If we're going Caribbean, I don't think I need too much research, actually. So let's just go for a secret first. Um, and also in case we get the secret... Uh, the secret enhancing campfire here. That's still pretty decent. Giving B a defense here. Uh, one more encounter before we go. Alright. Aggressive again. That should be fine. Can we? We can move over here. And that's one. Uh, that should be two. There we go. Uh, that's good enough. Oh, that's actually really close. Oh, and that's really awful because now I can't finish him off. Oh, that's great. Uh, oh, oh, wait, we can actually try this. That works, right? That's work. Okay, one more note. And then... Campfire time. How much we got? 13. Okay, so we should be fine here, as long as this is not... Well, it is a one collect, but a merchant is also pretty valuable. Losing speech power is doing fine so far. Everyone lost speech power, but we should still be okay for the last expedition. Uh, we did get Bia here. Wanna keep this one? These are all excellent, wow. That's a lot better. Uh, don't wanna keep any of the others, though. Um, I think it's still pretty important to get the Kiwi one out early, but the secret one is a pretty good backup. So let's go with Bia here and then trade in for a lot of secrets. Alright, there we go. Uh, we can invest 12 collect tokens, then we still have a little bit left over. But it's only 3 secrets. Okay, 
I thought I thought it was more. Ah, still fine now. Still fine. Um, does this matter? I think I want to give Kiwi the bonus here. Because I actually liked the, the bonus that uh, the Bia gained from from liking Kiwi. So that's gonna be nice. Okay. So I would say that's a good enough start already, so I'm definitely sticking with this run. Uh, re pretty much regardless of what, uh, what treasure we get here. Amir is a good one, although we should be a little careful with our reduced speech, but I'm not incredibly worried. Oh, shouldn't forget my coffee before it uh, goes cold. Alright, um, let's see how we're doing in the... Speech department, not amazingly, not amazingly well. Uh, but this should, ooh, it does not, does not actually. Uh, we'll run with it still. Let's just hope. And if not, nothing, nothing lost, really. That guy is always faster than I imagine he is. Uh, if everyone just stays out of range, that will be excellent. Sure. I'll run with this. Actually, does this increase? It does not increase in... Hmm. We actually don't get a group buff, so that's not too worthwhile. Is this a better one? It should not be. Probably still worth it though. Can we actually just take it, take down Amir right here? I don't think we can. I mean, he does have the grit. We shouldn't take the risk. We really shouldn't. Um, we can do a little bit of aggression. That's fine. Uh, make him sad. That is always good. And then Kiwi can go over here. Take down, hopefully take down one of these guys. That's fine. Does not necessarily take him down, but that's okay. And that's going to be a pretty good loudmouth, hopefully. It is. Or we could focus on Amir, but it does not really matter. There we go. Um, want to fear him? I guess we could have focused him down, but I am always a little hesitant about the grit. Interestingly, uh, again, the Raptor Queen also has uh, has grit, and that has has screwed me over numerous times. Uh, but I think that's the only two enemies that actually have grit. Yeah. Okay, let's see what we get. Uh, pretty much going for the locals again. Because I like myself some 100% skill checks. And... Oh, well, it's a better bonus than the first one. Sure. <laughs> That's a whole beast on itself, isn't it? Erase it from memory. <laughs> Alright, well, it's not the worst. It's not the worst. And we did get to be a um, personal story, so uh, let's see if we can make the secrets work. Oh, 
right. I uh, don't want to invest in any research right now, but do want to check our... Oh, we do. We have a lot of more status right now than we had before. Uh, bonus collect. Not too impressive. Um, bonus for diplomat. That's also not very impressive. I guess we could go for a, for a little bit of a diplomat build. It's not awful. Um, could go for another specialist, I guess. We do have a lot of status, so I guess it doesn't really hurt. That's a nice one. Um, can we then still upgrade and get one from the last tier? We actually can. So that could be nice. Uh, or it could just be something like this. Well. Um, that's, that's not too impressive in the way of specialists, actually. I would go as far as to say that's actually kind of sucky. That's none of the skill checks we were, uh, we care about. Uh, but I guess we could work with, well, we, we can work with the diplomat thing, I guess. So if we're going with the Kiwi belt, then we can make Kiwi a diplomat. I don't like that too much. We don't even have Kiwi's, uh, Kiwi story card, right? So I guess we could go for the Yvonne build. That actually makes sense. I don't hate it. Um, we can have Etiquette, or we can have... Uh, let me quickly check. I keep forgetting uh, which, which perks can actually be gotten from gear. And Customs is one of those. And it, Etiquette is not. Okay, so that's good. Oh, they, they could actually be nice for, for a build like this. Uh, for example, the, the bonus campaign in London works, works really well with, uh, with Charles' story card. That's actually a really nice one. Anytime you're, you're actually spending your campaign in Paris or London, but that's, that's not a whole lot, I will admit. Um... So yeah, let's uh, let's go with Lady Vaduva here, and then either a rogue build or a diplomat. I think we can make the diplomat work, so let's go for that one. Uh, it's going to be a little different than before, but that's okay. Uh, let's teach Yvonne um, etiquette. And then we can even grab this one. Is that going to be worth it? It's going to be better than this, than getting one or two helpers, I guess. Yeah, they are rather cheap, so I guess the effect could be more more pronounced, and they could just cost two two hundred and fifty like the other ones. That does actually make a little bit of sense. I wouldn't hate that. Um, so let's grab a book here. I don't know whether I actually need it right now, but it will be good uh, for any check Yvonne makes, basically. So that's good enough for me. Uh, let's get a machete. And do we want to get a monkey wrench? I guess that's a little greedy, because we don't have any defense right now, but it should be okay. Ah, it'll be fine. Let's not worry too much. Uh, oh, that's not the one I want. Hello, thank you for paying attention. Okay, um, can we... should we get a little bit of defense for someone? I, I kind of like getting a little bit of armor, for example, on Kiwi. Uh, we can get that with just selling, for example, this one, and Q's ring. Uh, we're not going to get enough for a good armor, but just a little bit of protection I think I like. Okay, Caribbean, here we come. Uh, 
I'll be back in a little bit again. Microphone was indeed still muted, so <laughs> that's a good one. Alright, at least we're getting a decent amount of tokens for every encounter, so that's good. So I was thinking, um, perhaps it... Uh, oh, uh, what's this again? It's, it's the one where the one in the back always gets lost, right? Um, so I guess we'll do it this way. Kiwi is missing. Yeah, what's, what's new? It happens all the time, right? Yeah, okay. And that means Kiwi gets to fight a monkey. I was survivalist in front. Uh, <laughs> I actually thought um, that the person who got lost was supposed to be um, a survivalist, if possible. Ah, uh, but yeah, every every encounter does count, so that's pretty nice. I'm actually tempted to to go into um, into the anthropology three rather quickly. Perhaps, um, perhaps do the um, do Hungary as the third expedition and dip into um, dip into anthropology first. Now it's just a little slow. Um, I think there's there's quite a bit of delay. So uh, by by the time you're you're saying it, uh, already I'm already ten seconds in the encounter or something. Uh, so I could wait for a long time, but that would uh, that would make this stream rather uh, rather choppy. I'm afraid. Um, going with this one again. And encounters are very important. So if I seem a little slow to react, uh, that's entirely true. <laughs> because by the time you're saying it... Oh, um, yeah, it, it's just a thing about memory, I, I don't know. I'm not even sure what goes wrong when you uh, when you lose that one. I uh, want to take that one down first. Actually, let's just stay out of. Oh, well, we can stay out of range of this one easily. How about that? How about this? That always cracks me up. <laughs> that always cracks me up. All right. Well, I guess that wasn't too much of a problem. Take our bananas. I hope. I hope that's not a euphemism. Uh, nice. Sure, why not? That could have helped us in the in the Atlas fight, actually. Just thinking. Uh, we do have someone with strength. Wait, is this actually? No, I, I really want those collect tokens. I think. Don't really care too much about the experience at this point. Wait, did, did that just double up? I think that just doubled up. That's pretty sweet. Um, so we've got enough collect tokens right now? Sure. In that case, I'll go with campaign right now. Excellent. I'm not sure how that works, to be honest. Uh yeah, about that. Did I bring... I did bring a wrench. Oh, I should give the wrench to... Well, I don't want to give the wrench to Yvonne. Who knows what will happen. 
Um, so I guess I should give it to Kiwi instead and switch switch those around. I guess that might work. Doesn't really matter who has the, the athlete right now. Oh, I could give both to Kiwi, actually. That's probably the better idea. Uh, well, we'll go with this one, sure. Well, I, I wasn't expecting that mu that many collect tokens, because we actually do have enough to turn all of them into secrets now. That's pretty sweet. Uh, let's uh, swap around the trinkets here. So I think getting all of them onto Kiwi is going to be pretty good. Uh, nature challenges first. I do think so. We can uh, we can make a a few detours, I guess. Uh, that's not very good, but I'll take it regardless. Some you win. All right, and treasures coming up. Pretty good. Um, engineer check. Yeah, I would like to make this one. Oh, you'll get you'll get at least like ten collect tokens at least. Like, I think so. Or did you fail a lot of skill checks for that one? Uh, yeah, I'll risk this one. Sure. Um, and might as well trigger the campfire right now. Why not? I see no reason why we shouldn't. Um, let's go for the bonus to secrets right now. Because I have no use for any of these. Should be good for next expedition, so... Uh, if we get Kiwi's card, next expedition will still be early enough, I think. Um, did we care about any of these? This is going to be a rogue check, I think, so that's not going to be worth it. Let's check the encounter first. Uh, yeah. Definitely all the encounters I can get. Let me quickly fix something here, because I think... I think I'll get slightly better performance if I just lower my bitrate a little bit. So I'm actually a little nervous about my computer hanging at some point. I wouldn't want, wouldn't want that to happen. Bunch of monkeys over here, that's okay. We can just take these down first. That was a little brave, I guess, but sure. Who dares wins, right? Um, hey, that's actually not that good. Could we? Could we not? Could we not do that right now? I guess I could ride it or use a friendly ability. Why not? Going to be a better idea to to end up deviously anyway. Yes, it is. Yes, it actually is. Alright, um, do I care about staying safe right now? This should still be fine. Um, and that's it. Group insults should be sweet here, I think. Let's see if I'm right. Uh, not as ex not as spectacular as I would have thought. Where did she lose? Oh, she lost a, a bit of armor from the thingamajig. Yeah, definitely did. Ooh. Why is it always barely off? I don't like it when it happens. Can I just take down one of these? Ooh, that's not good. Ooh, that's a lot of speech defense, sir. Are you sure about this? We'll do it this way. And then this, and then she can probably... Ooh, that doesn't work. She'll take him out. 
There we go. And this should not be too bad. Absolutely not. And finishing this one off. There we go. I do hope we'll uh, we'll find the the big guy pretty soon because I don't want to fight him with any hunger penalties right now. Let's see what we got. Uh, double attack. Yes, absolutely. Um, can we go for this one first? We actually can. That sounds great. Er, yeah, we'll go with this one. Okay. Let's go for this. There we go. And someone... Kiwi goes a little suspicious. That's okay with me. Um, treasure from here. And there's the monkey, alright. Uh, yeah, I don't have any supplies anyway, so that's okay. Oh, that's pretty good. Kiwi loses speech power. That's not the one I want to lose right now, but that's okay. Um, yeah, let's go, monkey. Let's go, ape, you could call it. Ha ha. Okay, so let's be careful here again. Um, probably starting out aggressively again. Um, can't do that from here. So might as well have Yvonne start out. She's not great be at being aggressive. Not great at being devious either. Uh, friendly doesn't work. Can I even kill something with Yvonne here? That's really ugly. Um, in that case, I can't get Kiwi in there. Oh, I can get her behind this, but that will change us to Devious. That's probably fine, since we can change back to Aggressive while he's angry, right? I think that'll be okay. Um, so in that case, we want to do something like this. Start out hostile. Kiwi, Kiwi can't reach this spot. Okay, I guess I could have thought about that. Oh, yeah, you're absolutely right about that. That's really useful. If only I had thought about that last run. Uh, let's see if this works first. And then Kiwi can probably take down this one. Let's just stay aggressive for now. That's actually much safer. Uh, and he's even weak to inspire, yeah. Um, I don't think I can enrage him enough that... Oh yeah, he's, uh, he's immune to terrify, so that's not going to work, I guess. Can I sadden or... I don't think that'll work, no. So you're probably right that I should be able to... Um, to inspire him. And yeah, that's the reason why I'm clearing out the monkeys first, because uh, that means I'm absolutely safe from attacks the, the, entire, the entire second turn. Um, if I inspire him right now, I could also just taunt him, right? If he attacks Yvonne here, he's not angry yet. He only has 30 attack. He's, uh, oh, he will be confident, so that's a slight boost. 25 extra. Oh, that's already, that's already counted, right? So that's 30 attack. Yvonne has one armor, so that reduces by 2%. <laughs> that makes me really sad right now. Ah, we'll go with this. 
I'm, I'm thinking about uh, what, whether it's worth uh, going for the Enraged the turn after, which will not be possible if I, uh, if I inspire him. But the Confident is such a big boost uh, always that it's never really going to work anyway. I probably want to taunt him this turn. Um, so, could we even... We could Enrage him, I think. Can we do that? Yeah, I don't think so. In that case, this is uh, just as good. Mm, no, it doesn't work. But might work for next turn. So that's good enough. Um, knock him out of Inspired. It's not not worth too much. And gives us back our, uh, our aggressive attitude, too. Um, that did taunt him, right? I hope that did taunt him. Yes, it did. Okay, that's good. I probably don't want to taunt him again, but I think I can just take him out this turn. I should be able to. Kiwi can even run behind him. Do something like this. Not entirely sure it's gonna work. But that does mean he's going to attack Kiwi next turn, so I guess that's still good for us. Can these guys reach Kiwi? They cannot. Okay, that should be safe. Yeah, so I should definitely want to change the Devious this turn, or perhaps even take him out. We'll see about that. Oh, I could have... Uh, could I have taken him out here? Oh, uh, he's immune to that, of course. Um, am I Devious enough right now? I absolutely am. Okay, so I can finish him off with that. Alright. That was a lot safer than my first combat. Uh, yeah, yeah, excellent bonuses again. Like we've seen before. Alright. Um, so taking a few more speech penalties, that's okay. We can grab some supplies from over here. That's actually pretty nice. Uh, not making use of this move over here. I guess we can do that later. Uh, where do we go from here? We could actually buy some supplies over here again. I do kind of like that idea. Sure, then we can go the other way around. That's gonna work. Uh, did not have enough gold to buy anything, so let's go here. That's going to be the fruit, isn't it? It is. Um, and I'm not going to risk it again. I guess we could use a tool. What else are we going to use the tool for? Ah, it's not good enough. We can we can use the tool to grab a treasure later, I think. If there is another. There should be. There should be another, I think. Um, definitely going left here first. Oh, and we actually can make use of the um, of the zero costs route right now. Um, yeah, that's good enough. Yeah. Oh, there we go. There we go. Sometimes. Uh, so we we have a zero cost move over there, and then we're moving here. It doesn't really matter. So let's just explore first. Now that's going to be an archaeology check over there, isn't it? Well, uh, oh, I should have prepared, actually. Uh, this is fine. Oh wait, uh, we don't have a naturalist, so we should definitely send the athlete up. I keep forgetting about this one. Alright. Um, yeah, I'll take another treasure, sure. Oh, and a survivalist. Ah, oh, that's just a small bonus, but that's okay. Um, and a bit of study. That is an excellent note. Alright. Um, might as well grab this one. Oh, it's uh, it's this one. Okay. Um, going for the jungle, I guess. That's usually the better one, isn't it? Because this is just going to be terrible. Alright. Excellent. 
And hopefully we can get some supplies over here. We definitely can. That's good. Alright, pretty satisfied with this expedition so far. Uh, although this route is a little awkward, I guess we'll deal with it. Not too much to deal with here. Um, could go... I'll check the, I'll check the empty notes. Oh, hey, that's pretty good. I'll definitely take another secret here. Definitely happy I took that route. And hunger penalty starting again, but absolutely no problem so far. Okay. One more encounter. The secret tunnel is an engineer check, actually. I think you need a level level three engineer. It's the one with the with the writing on the wall for the gargoyle code. That's uh, that one. Um, any pirates in our rear? No, they're not. Okay. Uh, I can't get close though, so I should probably just stay back here. Can't reach us from here, can they? They cannot. Good. I would have really liked to give Yvonne some kind of plus speech item, because she's always just barely off of killing them instantly. That's really awkward. Uh, you can take down the one in the back here. Oh, um, you cannot. Okay, that, that happens sometimes. Uh, it'll be fine, it'll be fine. No worries. No worries at all. Um, that's not good, though. Yeah, that would have been nice. <laughs> uh, yeah, we should probably just take one of them down. Let's just do, do it this way. Yvonne is, is already uh, excited. Plus, Kiwi already made her move. But it's okay. Was kind of from memory from uh, from the last um, from the last try where Kiwi was able to take those guys out in one hit, but she seems to be lo no longer able to. Uh, no real use to checking any empty notes, so I guess we'll take a quick gander over here. That can that might actually be worth checking out. We don't have too many hunger penalties yet, so let's go check out that note over there. It's probably fine. Just, just two more hunger penalties, we can take that. Oh, and that's actually the cooking perk, so that's really important. I only saw the three the three icons over here. I should have remembered that. So that's actually really important. Ah, I'm used to the hunger penalties by now. They're, they all, they're always terrible. <laughs> Alright. Attack power... Ah, we're fine. I uh, don't want to don't wanna go for this one, though. I don't remember what this one is, actually. Is that a rogue slash beguiler thing, maybe? Shouldn't matter. Let's just go for the boss. Uh, nice defensive camp, excellent. I could have probably gone for the for the extra node over here, but that's not all that important. Uh, let's go for a study token here. And then a bomb. Well, I do have a tool, so I might as well use it. Right? There we go. Eliminating the 1% failure. Could have cost me the treasure, so that's a good use of a tool, if I say so. Hmm. 
Alright. So, let's see if we can make this work. Not really. We can take down those two, but then Kiwi will take... This is probably the better approach. Um, we can take that one down from here. That actually doesn't work. So, might as well do it this way. Oh, um, that was not supposed to happen. Uh, oh well, oh well. <laughs> um, I feel a little silly right now. Um, can we take one of them down with an attack? Whoops, mistakes were made. Um, and then Kiwi can still... Well, they're not going to be devious anyway, so being, being impressed doesn't really matter. Um, this also doesn't matter, so I guess uh, it's going to be as good as it's going to get, so I might as well use it now. And if they're attacking Kiwi, they're not, <laughs> they're not attacking anyone else. So let's make sure Kiwi does not attack here, so we're able to take these two down in devious ways. And then we can buff up Yvonne, which is the thing that was supposed to happen last turn. Oh, uh, did I miss that one? I thought I missed that one. Oh, that's the, that's the one that spawns on the very first turn, isn't it? So can Yvonne take down that one? No... Ah, uh, she. we can deride that one, that's probably fine. Can we run away from this guy for just one more turn? I think we can. That's probably the most prudent way to go about it. Uh, we can actually not. Okay, that's that's great. That's great. Bia, Bia wasn't going to do anything useful anyway. Um, well, we do actually have a decent amount of armor, so it's probably... probably more useful anyway. Being a little sloppy here, but that's okay. Um, so, can we take down that uh, that one in the back? I guess Bia could if she could reach it. I guess Kiwi could if she could excite herself. Unfortunately not. Uh, we'll just take one attack from that one. E yeah, we can take her out. Can we stay out of range? That's not really an option. Okay, um, we're fine. Probably should fear that guy, shouldn't we? That's probably prudent. Let's go with an... Ooh, our, our speech looks terrible. Wow. Um, is our attack any better? Not much, but okay-ish. Let's just go for this right now. And then we'll see what happens next turn. Um, move you over here. I don't know whether that makes it any more likely that the other pirate attacks Bia. Oh, he's not going to do anything anyway. Uh, probably want to taunt him with Kiwi this turn. Um, and that means Bia takes down this one. Because that's absolutely going to work. So Kiwi definitely wants to... So, oh, uh, actually, she can probably take out the other one also. If we just try this here... Not entirely. Uh, we can we can use a group insult too, uh, but that overrides, doesn't it? Surely pull aggro, surely pull aggro. I think that overrides. So we can do it like this. Do this first, and then do this second. And then he will attack Kiwi the next turn, that's good. Uh, yeah, Kiwi has the most armor right now, so that's the best approach right now. So he attacks Kiwi. Kiwi doesn't care. And we just take him down this turn, I think. We should be able to, right? So something like... Um, can they reach? They can always reach wherever Yvonne goes. 
Does Yvonne have her... She does not have her to the right back. I should probably be a little careful then. In case something goes horribly wrong. How does a double attack do? I don't think it does enough. So in that case, can he... As long as we keep him... As long as we keep him feared, we should be okay, right? Oh, that's exactly the thing we're not... We don't want to do this turn. In that case, we might as well take out the pirates first. Can we? Well, not... Not her. Ah. I don't like where this is going. Let's just do it this way. As long as someone... Actually, as long as Yvonne just does not attack... Well, if she doesn't attack, then we might as well move her out of the way, won't we? Ah, that one's not going to attack. I don't think that one's going to take down Yvonne. That's actually really awkward. As long as the Yvonne doesn't attack the boss, we should be fine, right? So let's uh, keep him... Let's actually keep him afraid right now. So we can do two aggressive attacks right now, finish him off next turn. He should attack someone who is not Yvonne right now. Actually, if he attacks Kiwi, that would be kind of bad, wouldn't it? I don't know. Ah, uh, we've got the bonus grid. What do we have to fare? Make sure to finish deviously, and we're done. Okay, let's see about this treasure here. Uh, I, I think that would have killed neither of them, but yeah. Sometimes grip works. It's a pretty good time when it does. Uh, we still get the bonus for survivalists, so that's probably fine. Alright. That's not a bad score. And the secrets uh, really start to add up. We, we have a nice amount of, um, of status right now. I like it. Let's see what we can do about this. We actually have a level 5 survivalist. That might be a little bit much even, but sure, we'll take whatever we can get. It's going to be good for, uh, for entourage bonuses too. So what did we still have left here? Um, a rogue perk, if we can get a rogue perk onto someone, that would be nice. Or, yeah, mostly a rogue perk, actually, because archaeologists... Oh, wait, we could have given Kiwi an archaeologist perk there, actually. Huh. How about that? Um, so I'm thinking we could either go to Hungary or we could go to Mali afterwards. Which could actually be good if we can finish psychology, or at least grab um, grab these notes in psychology. We definitely want to do that first. So let's just grab that first of all. Um, going with the mischance again. Didn't really see that work, but I guess you don't really see it work regardless if um, if there's just chance to miss. Um, we could go on an inside spending spree here, I think. We would rather unlock this one, perhaps the tool. If we're going to spend some inside here, that could actually be rather nice. It's not the worst idea I've ever had. Because I don't think we're ever getting... We're not going to get to get to spend insight with a level 4 diplomat, I think. That's, the, the bonus isn't really going to be too great. 
Um, let's check what uh, what entourage we can uh, we can get over here before we make any other decisions. That is entirely true. Um, definitely grabbing a few upgrades here, and then we can get a rogue perk. So we can go for two rogue perks, I think, which is not the worst idea. Um, an extra athlete perk that could definitely work, or an extra quick thinker perk, which is also that is actually going to be much better, unless uh, unless the item already gives you wits. I don't think the item gives you wits, right? We're always going to buy that, so regardless. Bonus gold from uh, bonus gold from campaign is one we always want to grab, and I guess we're always checking out the last one regardless. So military history could work, sure. We can we can certainly prepare for. Hmm. How about we give the quick thinker perks to Bia? I guess we kind of don't want to, but we don't have the have all the bonus tokens for for Kiwi yet. So if uh, s suppose we suppose we give a couple of quick thinker perks to Bia right now, that's going to be better than when Kiwi gets them, right? Because we're not going to get Kiwi up to level four quick thinker. So I think that's going to be better. Um, one extra Begala perk for Yvonne would also be nice, but I guess she'll get one sooner, soon enough, starting the next expedition, so that's probably fine. Um, suppose we were going to Hungary, what would we want to pick? Um, archaeologist, quick thinker, tactician, diplomat. We're basically just missing the archaeologist here, so that's also rather good. Uh, but for Mali... There's a number of encounters that we can't really finish deviously in Mali, though. And we can't really... Can you still get... Oh, I, I don't really want to get the, um, the Chihuahua anyway, so I don't, shouldn't really care too much about that. I, I rather like Mali, that's the, that's the biggest point. And the adventure we best not do, I think. I don't think that's going to work out too well for us. Yeah, there's not really anything important with archaeology in um, in Hungary, right? But I do like Mali a lot better than uh, than Hungary overall. So I don't know, I don't know whether that whether that factors in. Can we can we grab something like a few more research notes if we g grab a few secrets? Well, we were going to spend them anyway, right? Um, yeah, let's uh, let's spend some insights and see what we have to work with. Because it's not going to get any better than two campaign and one secret anyway. How much do we need to get another research? Oh, um, about this much. So we're always grabbing this one, um, and then probably not getting enough for another one, right? I don't know. So there's basically three options. I think I want to do Highlands as my next expedition. Um, so for the expedition we're going to visit now, that will either be Andean Adventure, or Mali Mystery, or Hungry Fort. And I really don't know what would be our best choice here. Probably Andean, but we, we really need a rogue in that case. And I don't feel too good about the engineer part, I guess that's not really too bad. And the combat shouldn't be too uh, too hard, so maybe Andean is actually uh, actually the right choice here. It would give us a decent amount of research to go to Highlands afterwards, but it doesn't really um, make any it doesn't really benefit us too much for having a big gunner or something. Oh, uh, definitely, you're absolutely right about that. Uh, 
I was mainly thinking about which, which specialist to take, which uh, is kind of dependent on where we're going next. Uh, so we can grab uh, one quick thinker perk. Oh, um, something we always want to do. Let me quickly check whether we always want to do want to upgrade this one twice to get the grappling hook, and that does not give wit, so that's pretty good. Uh, so we can give this one to Bia. Um, assuming we won't get any benefit out of out of Kiwi's perk, then the quick thinker perks are, sh are better spent on Bia right now. Um, and if we want to benefit from the quick thinker perks, then we should go to Hungary still. Then we should still go to Hungary. So probably Hungary is going to be be our best choice. So in that case, we don't really need a rogue specifically. So we should focus on the quick thinker and the tactician. Although the tactician doesn't really need any help right now. Okay, so in that case, um, let's give a quick thinker perk to Bia here. Uh, plus one study for wits challenges. That's fine. We don't really need any of the others, so that's okay. Uh, let's give this to Bia. Um, and then let's see, we can grab an engineer or a rogue perk, which doesn't really matter. And then a tactician, or I guess a diplomat perk. Not sure how I feel about that. Probably grabbing the tactician perk for Bia regardless. Um, and I still had one entourage member from here, which means that I can grab another rogue perk, which is probably the best idea. So we can get two rogue perks for... I'm guessing we're going all out on Bia in that case. Sure. If she's going to make a lot of checks in Hungary, then I guess that's the best idea right now. I kind of don't like giving it to a tactician, but if we're stacking perks on her, then that's going to be the best choice. I don't feel too great about that. We could still give it to Yvonne, so she can get an additional rogue perk from somewhere. I kind of also should remember to... Oh, uh, we don't have another... We will have another trinket slot when we uh, when we level up Yvonne, so that's okay. In that case, we want to buy an additional trinket. Oh, we, we can't carry an additional trinket. That's ugly. I guess we can leave this one home. Because um, I really want to give a loot to... to Yvonne here. Um, but she can carry that one as soon as she levels up. So let's make sure I don't forget that one. Um, and she should actually carry this one before the other one. So let's give the book to Kiwi for now. Uh, don't care about the engineering trinket, so that's fine. Oh, I could have gotten two Vagala perks. But I think she already has one of those, so the loot is going to be better. Wait, she doesn't have storytelling already, doesn't she? No, 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 she does not. Charms, drama, astonishing... Let's see if I'm correct here. Charms, drama, astonishing, and... Oh, I totally could have gone for that one. That would have been pretty good. Um, but the next one would have been wasted, I guess. So that's still fine. Okay, well, as I was saying... Um, what on earth am I doing? Oh yeah, um, who should the rogue perks go to? I think I'm still going to give them to Kiwi. It's going to be a little awkward, but I do think she's the better target here. We're really spreading them out too much right now. Ah, uh, let's go for Bia. That means we're probably skipping the, um, the personal card for Kiwi, but that's probably fine. So Bia will get... Oh, I should have checked the other one. Um, mischief or Surprise? I don't think... 
Um, the, the other one's going to be Merciless, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, but I'm thinking we're going to make a, a, quite a number of checks for... Oh wait, um, I can actually give it to someone else right now, can't I? Well, she has a decent amount of crit, at least. So it should be better on Kiwi, in theory. I'm, I'm a little scared about spreading my, uh, my perks out too much, but... I don't know. We can also give them to Yvonne, and then she can skip this one and grab a Rogue perk. Am I going to need a Rogue at any point in the future? I don't know anymore. I'm, I'm having a, a severe case of analysis paralysis here. I'm sorry. Um, should probably just just follow my instinct to go with uh, with Kiwi here. Um, surprise or Mashif? I don't remember. Does it really matter? Let's do a quick check. Surprise should be fine. And then grab another rogue perk from the other entourage shop. Grabbing this one. Giving that one to Kiwi too. Alright, I at least remembered that that one was merciless. And then can we afford this one? And should we afford that, that one? We probably should. Um, but we could still go with... Uh, with the other one. Um, in that being... The Shy Care. Is that going to be a better one? I don't think so. The the Wits Challenges are going to be better, I think. And it spreads out the resources a little bit better, too. Let's just go with this one. Um, do we need to spend any more insight? I don't think so. So in that case... We'll just grab two lobbyists and call it there. Actually, we may want to. Uh, we may want to, since we can probably afford one more, one more technology after that, right? <clears throat> uh, if we spend four, no, we actually can't. In that case, we should not. If it doesn't give us an additional technology, we should not be spending any insight right now. Uh, which means we're grabbing that final Entourage member, going up to level 5 Tactician. Who knows what we're going to need it for. There we go. And then one more lobbyist, probably. One more lobbyist and I guess a student. Or... Yeah, let's grab a student, why not? Okay, and then we grab some combat relevant items. For example, we could use some gloves or... Oh, uh, we really want a weapon for Yvonne, I think. And I guess... I guess just a weapon for everyone. Uh, we've got enough gold for one weapon, basically. Mm. That's not very good. We'll just go with some good books in that case. Good book, good book. Um, does Bia really need some good gloves? I guess we could go for that. Um, and do we then still... We do have enough to give her some speech defense also, if we just sell these. Then we can go with a little bit of speech defense for... Who's going to need it most? Um, I'm either going to buy Yvonne some armor or Bia some speech defense, so I guess we're going for... Ooh, wait. That's not how it works. Um, it's, it's both not very good. Um, we're going to Hungary, so I guess that means we're facing some devious persons, so the speech defense is going to be more relevant. That kind of makes sense, doesn't it? Good. Okay, uh, let's do Hungary, um, then do some preparations, and then call it a day. It's getting kind of late, but we can still squeeze in one more expedition.